Hello students. So in this uh, transducers engineering subjects, in the previous sessions we have completed resistor transducers. So in the resistor transducers we have discussed about the potentiometer, strain gauges, RTDs, and thermistors. So in this session I would like to discuss about the capacitive transducer. Capacitive transducers are also a passive transducers which is nothing but they require external power for its operation. In a similar way of resistive, inductive, these capacitive transducers are also passive transducers that requires external power supply for its operation. These capacitive transducers are generally used for measuring the displacement, pressure, force, and other some physical quantities. These transducers works on the principle of variable capacitance. That means as some physical quantity changes, there is some change in capacitance. The variation of physical quantity, a physical quantity leads to variation of capacitance. So that is the basic principle of capacitive transducers. So the capacitance of capacitive transducers changes because of many reasons just like overlapping area between the two plates distance between the two plates that is nothing but change in distance between two plates and some change in directly constants between the two plates now generally the capacitive transducer contains two parallel plates these plates are separated by a dielectric medium which is either air or material some gas or liquid in normal, the capacitor, in normal capacitor, the distance between the plates are fixed. But in capacitive transducers, the distance between them may be varied or the overlapping area between the two parallel plates may be varied or the dielectric medium between the two parallel plates may be varied. So as I discussed that, the change in capacitance of capacitive transducers is occurred due to change in distance between the two plates due to change in overlapping area and due to change in dielectric medium so generally the most popular equation of a capacitance between two parallel plates is given as it is a familiar equation of a capacitance between the two parallel plates of a capacitor is given by c equal to epsilon a by d where epsilon is nothing but permittivity where the epsilon is again given by epsilon r and epsilon naught epsilon r is the relative permittivity of the material which is used as the dielectric medium between the two plates epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space which you have already discussed in your physics of intermediate and 10 where epsilon naught is nothing but permittivity of free space or sometimes it is called as absolute permittivity which is given as 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 farads per meter and where a is the overlapping area between the two plates and d is the distance between the two plates now just we will see these are the two parallel plates two parallel plates of a capacitor so which is having the w this is the width of the plates and this L is the length of the plates. So, if you observe this one, the overlapping area between the two plates is completely W into L. W L is the overlapping area A. There is a large difference between the overlapping area and cross-sectional area. The cross-sectional area of this one is W into L. Whereas, here the overlapping area, nothing but the amount of area which is overlap. Now, if you observe this one, what is the overlapping area? The amount of area which is overlapped is zero. There is no overlapping between the two plates. No, it is zero. Now, if it, this length is, you assume that some x is displaced, a mode, then the overlapping area A equal to this W into x. So, as the displacement we measured is applied to this plate, 
the overlapping area A changes, which changes in the capacitance. Say the assume that these are the two parallel plates, in that one is fixed plate, other one is the mobile plate. Just A is the overlapping area, that is the width into length occupied, length overlap, and D is the distance between the two plates, and epsilon is the permitted of the dielectric medium. And which is given as epsilon naught and epsilon r. Epsilon naught is the 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 farads per meter. Epsilon r is the relative permittivity. Just like for air, it is equal to 1. Now, we can observe from this equation, capacitance is proportional to the overlapping area between two plates. Now, you can assume. Here, I am not changing the distance. The distance between the two plates is constant. Okay. And I am not changing the dielectric medium, which is now it is A. So that, that is nothing but epsilon equal to epsilon naught. Why? Because epsilon are equal to 1 for A. So epsilon naught A by D, where that area can be, I am changing by changing the overlapping area. And if possible, here I am not changing the dielectric medium, I am not changing the overlapping area, I can change the distance. So by changing the distance, also we can change the capacitance or by change the dielectric medium because uh, for example here these two plates are parallel plate capacitor upper one and lower one these are the fixed plates and in between i am saying that is the dielectric medium now if you changing this one so up till some place as uh, some overlapping area we are having the this width into this l1 where the air is acting as the dielectric medium and this is the l2 where this dielectric medium is uh, material is having some placing um, some epsilon r okay so from this equation the capacitance is proportional to the overlapping area like this whereas the capacitance is inversely proportional to the distance between the two plates as the distance between the two plates increases the capacitance decreases as the distance is decreasing between the two plates capacitance increases so, the basic principle of capacitor transducers which are used for measurement of so many physical parameters are depending upon the familiar equation of a capacitance between two parallel plate capacitor which is given as C equal to epsilon A by D where the capacitance is directly proportional to the overlapping area between the two plates and directly proportional to the permittivity of the dielectric medium between the two plates and inversely proportional to the distance between the two plates. So just like uh, I discussed now, this is the bottom plate, this is the bottom plate and this is the top plate. So this is W and here we are having some distance between the two plates and this is the length L. So generally this is WL and this is the distance between the two plates. So the change in capacitance occurs because of the physical variables like displacement. The displacement will be measured of an object. For example, this is the I want to measure the displacement of an object in a, uh, industry. Then I am having the two capacitor plates, and for this one is fixed, another one is the mobile. So for this material, for this uh, object whose displacement will be measured is coupled to the mobile plate. So as this object is moving, the plate also moves. So like that we can measure the how we are going to measure the displacement we will see now and also it can be used for measurement of displacement force pressure etc the capacitance of the transit also changes by variation in their dielectric constant which is usually because of generally measurement of liquid and measurement of gas level we are using that principle that is change in capacitance due to change in dielectric constant now we'll see so most of the times the capacitor transducers can be used for measurement of displacement so this measurement of displacement using capacitor transducers uses the following three effects one is variation capacitance of the transducer because of overlapping area of the capacitor plates and other one is the change in capacitance because of change in distance between the two plates and third one is change in capacitance because of dielectric constant. So first we are going to see all these three principles. In the first case we will discuss 
a transducer using the change in area of plates that is nothing but overlapping area of plates so the equation which is nothing but c equal to epsilon a by d shows that the capacitance is directly proportional to the overlapping area of the plates the capacitance changes correspond with the change in position of the plates so c equal to epsilon a by d that is proportional to overlapping area so here observe that there are just like that we are having two plates here you can also say that these are the uh, capacitor plates one is the fixed plate fixed metal block another one is the movable so like this just a minute okay the fixed block and this one so here the distance between two plates means the gap between this two generally this is having the diameter d1 which is larger than this one and this is the diameter of this particular plate is d2 which is less than this one so this can be inserted like this and move like this this moving view. so here there is small gap that is always fixed that is the distance between the two plates that is the d1 minus d2 that is you can say that d and the overlapping area that is depending upon this one okay so as it is moving this one the capacitance as the overlapping area increases the capacitance of this particular parallel plate capacity is changing we are taking the output from these two leads here yeah, this can be directly we can observe in your laboratory in our laboratory we are having the capacitor on this other, which is uh, using the same principle so as now the overlapping area between two plates is zero therefore cap no capacitance as it is moving inside this um, fixed metal block so the capacitance is increases as the overlapping area increases so now with the maximum capacitance so this is used for measurement of large displacement now we'll see there is another method for measurement of capacitance for measurement of uh, sorry, for measurement of displacement using two plates rectangular plates Now the same the diagram which explains this one so this is a, a fixed plate which is having the width w and this is some length and there is another plate moving plate which is also having the same width w and now there is no overlapping so as it is having some displacement x now what happens the overlapping area is this is nothing but overlapping only it is w into this x so as it is moving with some displacement x the w into x that is nothing but overlapping area changes therefore epsilon a by d the capacitance also changes as x changes and if you observe this one this x is variable here the w is always fixed the w width is fixed and i am not in the distance the distance is also fixed so this is the distance i am not changing that may 1 cm 2 cm i am not changing the distance just i am changing the x only and here i am not changing the dielectric medium the dielectric medium between these two plates is only a that is epsilon not epsilon are equal to 8.854 in 10 power minus 12 only so because i am not changing the dielectric medium so just only i am changing the x that is the length uh, this l so that overlapping area changes so the remaining all parameters w is fixed distance d is fixed permittivity epsilon is also fixed so as the displacement increases so you can say that epsilon a by d equal to epsilon x w by d so as x increases capacitance also increases so where x is the length of overlapping part of the plates x is the length of overlapping part this is the length of overlapping part now what is the length of overlapping part that is zero so therefore there is no capacitance epsilon equal to 0 into width that is 0 so w is the width of the overlapping plates overlapping part of two plates so now if you observe the sensitivity of this type of capacitor transducer whose capacitance changes due to the change in overlapping area we can observe what the sensitivity sensitivity is nothing but change in output to the change ratio of change in output to the change in input what is change in output here that is the capacitance that is dc 
change in the input is displacement x so that is do c by do x equal to as we know that epsilon is constant w is constant d is constant x is variable therefore that becomes epsilon into w by d farads per meter that is the capacitance epsilon w by d so if you observe that one this again constant epsilon is constant w is constant d is constant so as we know that for linear instruments sensitivity is always constant i think you have discussed in electronic measurement subject where static axis of the measuring instruments were discussed so as this type of capacitor and user produces linear variation with respect to displacement if you are plotting the graph between the x displacement and capacitance that is always linear variation that's why we are getting the sensitivity is also constant so there is another method we are having the two plates semicircular plates one is the fixed plate other one is the mover plate so when <laughs> so i am not giving the exact circular plate just assume that these are the, just for example these are the circular semicircular plates here we are having some knob so which can be used to move this like this so now the overlapping area is no there is no overlapping area therefore zero as it is moving like this the overlapping area increases that is depending upon the radius so like that here also w equal to sorry c equal to epsilon a by d where a is nothing but the overlapping area generally overlapping area is nothing but pi r square by 2 for circle area is pi r square it is semi circle nothing but pi r square by 2 where pi is the angle here that is that is 180 degrees but here that is i am assuming that that is a some angle theta angle displacement so that is epsilon theta into r square by 2d so here also epsilon is constant i am not changing the distance between the two plates i am not changing the radius okay i am not changing the dielectric medium therefore sensitivity is nothing but dou c by dou d equal to epsilon r square by 2d which is also constant so if you observe this one if you take the graph between the displacement and capacitance that is always linear that is always linear okay this is the measurement of capacitor sorry, displacement using the capacitor transducer whose principle is based upon the change in capacitance due to change in overlapping area between the two plates so by using that principle we can measure linear displacement as well as angular displacement the next principle of the capacitor transducer is that is the using the change in distance between the two plates say assume that here these are two plates one is the fixed plate other is a moved plate as if i am moving like this what is changing d distance between two plates is changing i am not changing the overlapping area so a is constant d is variable and over now uh, so dielectric medium is also constant i am not changing the dielectric medium it is always a only so by using this principle also i can measure the displacement so this type of capacitor transducers in this type of capacitor these are called as uh, non linear type devices why because the capacitance of this transducer is inversely proportional to the distance between the plates one plate is fixed other one is the movable the displacement displacement which is to be measured links to the moved plates so as the displacement is changing in this direction capacitor increases if it is in this direction the capacitance decreases so now we can go for the so as the distance is always inversely proportional if you draw the characteristic between the capacitor and displacement that is as the displacement is less that is distance is less the capacitor is more as it is moving displacement is more the capacitor decreases so it produces some non linear characteristics if you observe this uh, equation also C equal to epsilon a by d. So if you take the sensitivity, in sensitivity here epsilon a both are constants. D is a variable. So I can say d is the x and point. The sensitivity is nothing but dou c by dou x. Then it is given as minus epsilon a by x square. So that is always depending upon the x. That is inversely proportional. Therefore the characteristics are non-linear.
so as we know that for non linear instruments the sensitivity is always variable not constant okay so but in practice we don't we prefer only linear devices but if you are able to measure the displacement by using this type of capacitor and user whose capacitance vary due to the change in distance between the two plates can provide non linear characteristics which are not desirable we required only linear characteristics but this non linearity cannot be eliminated by with small modifications for this principle also we can achieve the linear characteristics that arrangement is nothing but differential arrangement a linear characteristic can be achieved by using a differential arrangement for the capacitive displacement transducer so this type of arrangement using three plates two plates are fixed plates p1 and p2 and in midway exactly these are the two plates and exactly in the middle we are having another plate which is these two are fixed plate so i am not having any table i cannot uh, exact view these two are fixed and this middle one may be moved either upwards or downwards so this is a mobile plate and these two are fixed plate so this arrangement uses the three plates two plates are fixed plates p1 and p2 and in midway we are having the mobile plate m so therefore we are having the two capacitances or two capacitors one capacitor is plate 1 and mobile plate another one is plate 2 and mobile plate so we can apply so let the capacitances of these capacitors are assume that c1 which is the between p1 and m c2 is the p2 and m where m is the midway exact assume that initially this m is placed equal distance between the two plates this is d and this is d therefore under this condition the capacitance c1 and c2 are equal what is c1 epsilon a by d here a is constant i am not changing the area and here also c2 is also epsilon a by d here these two capacitors are provided with some electrical supply e and therefore the cap electrical voltage appeared at this capacitance c1 is given as e1 the electrical voltage existed between these two plates is given as e2 so therefore as per this one when mid plate is exactly equal distance between the plate 1 and plate 2 p1 and p2 therefore c1 equal to c2 where c1 equal to epsilon a by d and c2 equal to epsilon a by d both are equal therefore the voltage appeared across the capacitor c1 is given as applied voltage e into opposite capacitance c2 divided by c1 plus c2 and capacitance appeared across this sorry voltage appeared across this capacitor that is c2 is given as e2 equal to e into sorry this is c1 e into c1 by c1 plus c2 and it is exactly midway therefore c1 equal to c2 therefore e equal to e1 minus e2 delta e equal to e1 minus e2 which is nothing but Zero, almost these both are equal, which is nothing but e by two. If you observe, because at that position c one equal to epsilon a by d, c two equal to epsilon a by d. Therefore, it becomes e by two. This also becomes e by two. So therefore, differential voltage is zero. Now assume that this mobile plate is moving upwards with small displacement x. Now, what are the distance between these two plates? Now the distance between these two plates P1 and M is d minus x. It becomes d minus this x. Whereas the distance between this plate P2 and M is d plus x. Therefore, capacitance C1 becomes epsilon a by d minus x. Whereas capacitance C2 equal to epsilon a by d plus x. Now we will see the what are the capacitance, what are the difference in voltage. So if you go, we need to go for small. Mathematical expressions. So C1 equal to epsilon a by d minus x. C2 equal to epsilon a by d plus x. So as know that e1 equal to c2 into e by c1 plus c2. Just you can as uh, substitute value of c2 and c1 here. We'll get some value. 
in the case of C E two C one into E by C one plus C two here also you can substitute you will get the voltage applied between the uh, across capacitor C one is given as D minus X by two D into E whereas applied across C two is D plus X by two D you can do uh, later also you will get the same equations now the voltage differential voltage is given as E two minus E one which finally will get x by d into e so if you observe this x by d into e what is d that is our constant exactly midway between the two plates that is d and e is the applied voltage that is constant so the differential voltage is proportional to the x that is the displacement of the mover plate so that's why as sensitivity is nothing but output by input so that gives e by d where that is constant so now we are going to get the linear characteristics so the linearity can be achieved for a capacitor transducer whose principle is based on change in distance between two plates can be achieved by using differential arrangement which having three capacitor plates two are fixed plates and another plate third plate is the mobile plate which is placed between the two fixed plates okay now the Next, sorry, is the third one. The transducer using the change in dielectric medium between the two plates. Now, if you assume you take the same, uh, if you take this one, this arrangement. These are the. This is nothing but top plate, and this is nothing but bottom plate. Top and bottom plate, and this is nothing but it is a some another material. Uh, the displacement to be measured, the object whose displacement is to be measured is up, uh, coupled to this one. As it is changing, this material is changing between the two plates. In this case, the W is the width of the top plate as well as bottom plate, and D is the this, between this the displacement distance between two plates is constant. And here, the overlapping part actually this is the overlapping part. For example, this is some Length L one. What the overlapping area A? This W into L one. And this part, for example, this is the length L two. This overlapping area A equal to W into L two by D. Area is W into L two. Area is W into L one. So what the capacitance at this place? Epsilon A by D. What is A by D? Epsilon W into L one by D. But here epsilon equal to epsilon naught or epsilon r. This a is our term only epsilon naught. Here epsilon is nothing but epsilon naught epsilon r. It is depending upon the relative permittivity of this particular material. So now the same we are observing. In this case, capacitor C at this up to this place, the capacitor is given as one epsilon naught epsilon r equal to one. Why? Because here the relative permittivity is equal to one for a. So epsilon naught w l one by d. This width into length L one by D plus epsilon naught epsilon R of this material relative permit of this material into W L two by D. So now this is L one L two. You can write that as epsilon W by D. This is common. You can take L one plus epsilon R into L two. This is the capacitance. Now assume that this is moved. This dielectric material, dielectric medium is uh, is moved with some other displacement with some x. Therefore, what happens? This L one becomes L one minus x. This becomes L two plus x. Now, what happens? Just simply substitute. Then let some this dielectric is moved through a distance x in the direction. The capacitor changes from C to C plus delta C. So that is given as epsilon w in the moment previously L one by d. That is L one minus x plus epsilon epsilon r w L two plus x by d. So after completely some simplifying, finally we are getting the change in capacitance is nothing but epsilon naught w x by d epsilon r minus one, where epsilon naught is constant, w width is constant, epsilon r relativity relative permittivity is also constant. Therefore, the change in capacitance is depending upon the x that is proportional to the displacement which is applied. So, by using this principle also, we can measure the displacement. So, 
with this we have discussed the measurement of displacement the same can be applied for measurement of force and pressure also so we have discussed the measurement of displacement using capacitor transducer with the three principles one is the change in overlapping area between two plates one is the distance between two plates other one is the change in dielectric medium so there are so many applications for measurement of displacement pressure force the the last principle change in capacitance due to change in dielectric medium can also be used for measurement of liquid level or gas levels so this can be you can discuss in the level measurement in your industrial instrument subject so with this capacitor transducer topic is over